Hello and welcome to my video. Now this video is uh, not the one that I was uh, telling people that I would do on Facebook and in fact uh, Instagram. That's, um, that painting uh, needs a bit more work on it. So I thought, well, rather than keep you waiting, I would uh, get this one organized. And uh, here we go. It's um, a painting that I actually finished about three weeks ago and um, it's I suppose um, I don't know maybe I took an hour to do the original painting I think it was about an hour um, and it, it was done not as a finished painting it's done as a structure to um, add some glazing to which is what I'm doing here and Currently, my favorite color for glazing is Japanese red. I really like the effect that it gives. It brings a sort of freshness to the painting quite quickly, as you can see. Uh, the change is quite miraculous. And in fact, it, it will get better later. Um, well, when I say later, I mean in a few minutes when I start wiping away some of the paint on the highlights on the clouds uh, to get a little bit of a sparkle back into it. This is about a three inch uh, brush that I'm using. Very, uh, very cheap brush. And uh, as usual, it's not one of those things, this process is not one of those things that you need to take much care over. You just basically slap the paint on. And it's quite diluted. Um, I would think, um, if you imagine that uh, I've got the same sort of consistency almost, as maple syrup. That's, that is the way that I tend to describe it to people. Um, not quite so runny that it will drip. I don't want it to drip. I want it to stay reasonably static on the painting, but I do want it to be mobile. This technique, um, well, not this technique. This is a well-known technique. This has been done for centuries, this uh, glazing effect. Um, the way I, the reason I like it so much is that um, it, it, it seems like um, when you get to the end um, that you've, you've done an awful lot of work on a painting, but in fact you, you don't. Um, it's, um, it's just a quick way of getting a nice effect, I suppose. As you can see there, I'm, I'm putting a little bit on the landscape as well, and I'll be doing a lot more wiping back on the landscape. All I'm doing really is just trying to warm it up a little bit, and you'll see that uh, later. You may notice that my board is uh, wobbling a bit. It's um, quite a big board. It's 120 centimeters wide by 60 centimeters deep. Normally I would use two easels to hold the uh, thing stable, but uh, as this is just a really quick video, I just uh, I thought, well, I won't bother. Just um, as long as it doesn't fly around the room, I'm happy. A little bit of a wipe there close to the horizon, just to uh, get that little sparkle of light in the distance. And there I'm starting to take it off some of the landscape as well. It's one of those uh, techniques where you get you get plenty of time to play with your painting and you know tease out the bits that you really want to um, to have a bit of sparkle. And by sparkle, I mean contrast. Really, I mean I'm just sort of just bringing out a few little light spots. Um, while you're watching me do this, I'll just mention a few things very briefly uh, about some of the questions that I'm continually asked. Uh, one of them is, have I used water-soluble oils? No, I haven't. Um, I, I have trouble getting my head around the idea that uh, oil and water will mix, so um, I probably won't be using it. I just like oil paint. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a traditionalist. Uh, the other thing is, can you get this effect with acrylics? Well, as far as I'm concerned, 
no, not using this technique. Um, you, to, to keep acrylics mobile, you need some kind of retardant, um, which is either water or some kind of manufactured product, which you spray on the painting. And um, uh, frankly, it would be too drippy for me for this effect. Uh, I like the fact that the oil sticks to the surface uh, much more um, strongly than water. Another question that I was asked recently is, um, do I use the rule of thirds or the golden mean? Well, I suppose I do really. Uh, the rule of thirds for me usually means that the landscape will be a third of the way up to the horizon um, and the rest sky because I, my, my focus tends to be on skies. Um, the golden mean, yeah, a little bit of attention above centre slightly to the right. Um, and I use lines and shapes within the sky and the landscape to try and lead the person to that part of the picture. Okay, now this colour that I'm using here on the um, landscape is, is just called light green. Um, the, it, uh, light green will vary according to the manufacturer. The paint that I use is made by um, Le Franc and Bourgeois which, uh, if you want to get it, you would have to probably go to their uh, to the website. Um, not their own website, but the, the website I go to is a, a shop in France called Cultura, and you can buy this uh, paint online. Um, however, you, you might need a little bit of um, French because their website is completely in French, so you, you, you'd have to uh, scout around a bit and... Um, I have to say it's not the easiest website to navigate, but uh, I, I got there in the end. When when things go back to normal on the planet, um, I will probably actually just go to the shop. It's much easier to just go and walk around and uh, and fondle the tubes. It's nothing quite like a good visit to an art shop, just to get to touch the products. So I'm liberally applying this green um, and just as usual wiping back. It's not a difficult process. It's uh, possibly the, the easiest and fastest way to get the effect that you want on a painting. What I'm doing there is I'm wiping on the uh, dark trees on the landscape just to take the uh, the light green off to uh, to get the contrast back and this is just uh, an industrial strength paper towel that i'm using not the one you use in your kitchen that's too soft this one's uh, this one's quite tough so it doesn't actually fall apart on the painting This may not be the end of this picture um, when we get to the end of the video because um, I can I can keep adding layer upon layer of glazing. Uh, I could add a little bit of blue later, but between applications you need to let it dry. Uh, otherwise, you just end up with mud. So um, this will dry, and then I'll yeah I think next time I'll put blue on it. I, I may add a little bit more darkness to the clouds uh, on the right of the painting um, and then maybe even um, a bit of white glazing over on the left just to get a bit more light coming in on the left hand side. I don't, um, I don't actually plan much uh, in a painting. I, I tend to go, I, I paint what I call freestyle. Uh, I, just, I make it up as I go along, basically, and if you do this often enough, you get a you get a um, more used to taking chances and just risking things, because of course if it goes wrong, you just wipe it off and go back to the original. Oh, someone, well, several people mentioned on one of my recent videos that they couldn't hear me. Now I'm not sure why. Um, I, I have uh, external speakers attached to my laptop and uh, I have no problem with the sound. The thing you have to consider 
is that the built-in speaker in a laptop or a tablet is going to be a little bit tinny. You won't you won't get the full sound. It'll it'll always have that slightly in the distance um, feel to it. So for people who can't hear me, I mean I, I have. I have tuned the volume on this video a little bit to get the volume up, but um, I've done some tests. It didn't seem to make much difference. Everything sounded good on my speakers. Um, and of course, you don't need to spend a lot of money on speakers. I've got a couple that um, cost me 26 euros, I think. I know, I know for a fact that if I turn them up full volume at the end of the, uh, when I've made the video, literally my windows shake. It's that, it's that powerful. So. Um, it could be the device that you're um, watching and listening on. So, you have to bear with me on that one. Perhaps invest in some speakers. A lot of people um, find glazing quite mysterious, um, and I don't know whether you know this, but uh, some of the old master paintings um, have been analysed, and they know for a fact that some had up to 60 layers of glazing, which is quite interesting. Uh, I've never gone that far. I think the most I've done is about five layers, and that was years ago. So maybe I'll um, maybe I'll use this painting as an example and just keep on uh, re-uploading it with more and more layers on until it gets to the point where maybe it can't take any more. Oh, and you have to bear in mind that if you if you put a lot of um, layers on, uh, it's going to get darker. So, but then again, why not? You know, it's a tonalist painting. They tended to um, to to use darkness to get to get uh, mystery in their pictures. Anyway, as I said, this has been a, a quick video, coming sort of quite close to the end now. Um, I hope you like it. Ask questions. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do and uh, hit the little bell icon. Then you'll know when I put up my next video. Uh, yeah, ask questions. I like I like the interaction uh, that I get from people. Um, and I, I do try to answer all questions, and if I can't answer the question, I'll tell you. And I will acknowledge the fact that you have made a comment, if it's just a, a general nice comment. So here we are. I'll just let you listen to the music, and um, whatever you do out there, stay safe. I know we're in very unusual times at the moment, um, but uh, keep your distance from people. Follow the guidelines, and look after yourself. So. Until the next video, take care, stay safe, bye for now.